everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. I'm gonna be preparing my burgers. First thing you have to do, wash your hands. Right over here, I got fresh cilantro. I have garlic. I got regular ground beef right here. This is ground chuck, which is steak. Chorazo, um, you can actually have them as a hot dog or a baby egg, you can have them as a burger. This over here, this is the same thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> We might not use all the straws. I might I might do it anyway just to get a lot of burgers out and just to make it and everything. So soy sauce. Uh, this says organic soy sauce. Chili powder. So you got the chili powder right over here. Basil, ground pepper, little bit of complete seasoning. Parsley, onion powder, seasoned salt, everybody. You need seasoned salt. First thing I want to do is that I want to cut those sausages. Flip them over and there you go. You're gonna take off the skin, which you're not gonna need because you're making a burger. Good! So we covered that. Let's go get another knife. Put these all in line, just like this to make things a lot easier. And then I'm just gonna cut them straight. The reason I'm gonna cut them straight, when I mix it up, it's gonna be a lot easier than when I have, I have to mix them up as the way how they are in lengths. So that's That's all you need to do. So the first is the regular ground beef, the ground chuck. Put that in there and put the rest of this in here. Uh, I'm not going to use my hands to mix. I'm going to actually use this wooden spoon. So let me get that cutting board back again. That smell of cilantro is so potent it's unbelievable. Make sure you try to get the leaves a little bit smaller. the cilantro inside of it not all okay other half cilantro is when you're gonna mix it take your wooden spoon okay this is good because you already mixed it now after that put the rest of the cilantro in take all the chopped garlic and put it all in here including the juice that, that, that's, that looks so good. Complete seasoning. Right. A little bit of complete seasoning. That's it. Basil, a little bit of chili powder, pepper, parsley, sea salt. Not that much salt because then it'll be too salty. It's good. And remember, because you're going to put half and half. You have to mix it up and you're going to put the other half. And. garlic pepper, and soy sauce. Then we mix it all up, and what do you get? Then do it again. Skin powder, seasoned salt, complete seasoning, very little, basil, chili pepper, ground pepper, soy sauce. All we're missing is the vodka. So this is it, you completed, wash your hands. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shape the burgers. So this is what I'm gonna do. Take the Ginsu, take off the edges. Cut in half and cut in half this way. And everybody, you got four burgers right there. Four burgers right there. So I get complaints of making big chunky burgers. They're like, why don't you make them smaller? Six nice burgers. I like to make it even. So. Let me chop off that side. That's going to be for the next one. That's how you get your burgers prepared, everybody. Uh, I'm going to crisp, cook the crisp burgers that I prepared earlier. Um, I have two buns prepared because one thing about it is that um, we are actually having burgers. First is that you have to wash your hands. So here are the crisp burgers right over here. The reason I call them crisp burgers is because I made them. This is my, kind of my, my signature. Put them up here. Number two, and these are flat. Wow, these are really, really flat. And I gotta shape them up a little bit. So this one's number three. This is number four. And it's very simple how to cook burgers, everybody. All you have to do is basically turn this on to six and watch it. <laughs> That's all you have to do. This is what I'm gonna do. 
I'm not gonna show you the whole video of me cooking the burger. I was gonna do that, but it doesn't make any sense to do that. Put it over the burgers, just like that. The reason is that not only it's cooking, not only it's cooking the bottom of the burger, but it's also uh, steaming the top of the burger. So when you flip the burger over, it's not gonna fall apart. So right now, and I'm gonna flip it, one right here and you see it didn't fall apart so that's a good thing drain all those juices that's what it looks like now and then we're going to turn it over that's how it looks it looks a little bit charred and the char gives it that really good, good taste don't char too much if you're going to burn it okay who wants burgers everybody anybody want burgers <laughs> usually I, I also could put a little bit of lettuce a little tomato uh, onions, if you want it, just a little bit of onion. I think that's it, because we don't have to flip it back over. That's basically it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys, alright? Bye-bye, everybody.